Hello, my name is Ronnie Sasaki from Environment. You may already know me as Mrs. Clean. My job today is to show you how easy it is to install the Storm Drain Defender Catch Basin Insert. First, let me share a couple things about Catch Basin Inserts with you. A Catch Basin Insert is a temporary inlet protection device designed to reduce the amount of pollutants that enter the waterway. When rain falls to the ground and mixes with pollutants such as dirt, or oil, it then enters the waterway. The catch basin insert's job is to trap some of those pollutants and prevent them from entering our waterways. Environment holds the patent for the wireless frame that is adjustable. We have a round insert and we have a rectangle insert. The round insert has an adjustable point on one part of the wire frame that slides in or pulls out to make it either smaller or larger. The rectangle insert has adjustable points on every side so you can go in, out, for both top and bottom to make it fit a variety of sizes of catch basins. First of all, I'd like to show you how to install the round catch basin insert. All alone, I can install this catch basin insert because it is so easy to do. The first thing you need to do is adjust the size of the insert to match the size of the drain. So lay the insert over the grate before it is removed. If it's smaller, then adjust the wire to extend the insert out. If the insert is too large, then you can slide it in so that it fits exactly the size that you need. Once you have the insert sized properly, then you can remove the grate. You can remove the grate simply by lifting it out with your hands, or you can use a grate puller, as you see me doing in the video clip. When you remove the grate, then simply take the insert, which is already adjusted for the right size, set it into the recess of the lip where the grate was previously, and you can choose to either put an oil pillow into the insert, or you can leave the oil pillow out if your biggest concern is dirt and debris. As soon as you have the insert sitting into that lip, simply replace the grate, either sliding it back into place, you can use the grate puller to also slide it back into place. It's just as simple as that. Once it's in place, it's doing its job. To install the rectangular catch basin insert storm drain defender, it's almost just as easy as the round. Lay your rectangle insert over the drain. Slide the wire frame in and out, whichever you need in order for the insert to fully extend to the edges of the grate. As soon as the size is as you need it to be, remove the grate. Once you remove the grate, you can simply Place the insert into the recess where the grate sat. You can put the oil pillow in if you need it. Again, if you're just concerned about dirt and debris, you may not need the oil pillow. After the insert is installed, effectively replace the grate back over the insert and you're good to go.
Some of you out there prefer to put in a catch basin insert that doesn't have a wire frame. Now this takes a little bit of extra effort to install, generally two people. So when you watch the video clip, you will see me working with my associate, Alex, as we install the wireless storm drain defender. First thing you need to do is to remove the catch basin grate. Now the nice thing about working with this wireless catch basin insert, also called a witch's hat out in the field, they are universal in size. One size pretty much fits all. So as soon as you remove the grate, you then, with your partner, lay out the insert into the opening where the basin is, smoothing out the fabric around the outside of the hole. Very carefully then, the two of you lift up the grate, placing it into the hole where you can see the depression from the outside of the fabric. As soon as that grate is in place, it is effectively sandwiching the fabric between the sidewall and the grate, holding it into place. Now, to remove the wireless insert, one thing is very important. As soon as you lift up that grate, the insert's going to want to fall to the bottom. Remember, it's full of dirt and debris and water and probably weighs close to 50 to 60 pounds. So what I suggest you do is pull the strap up through the grate, slide a stick or a piece of rebar. In the video clip, you can see that I am sliding the grate lifter through to, to hold that in place. Then slide the grate over. It will then pull the insert with it, holding it up and out of the basin so you can get it out of the ground without it dropping to the bottom. And there you go, you have it. How to use a storm drain defender.